Hi, I'm Sam at 7Shifts, and today I'll walk you through using the 7Shifts app as an employee. We'll cover things like updating your info, checking your schedule, messaging your team, and submitting availability and time off requests. When your employer invites you to 7Shifts, you'll receive an email. You can click the Join Your Team button to get a link to download the app. Once you've downloaded the app, you can log in or create a new account using your email or your Google account or your Apple account. In the top left corner, you can edit your profile. You can add more information about yourself and also change your profile picture. So now that we've added information, we can go ahead and save our profile. On this page, you can change your password for your account and also log out at the bottom. On your home page, you'll be able to see if you have a shift coming up today or if you have the day off. You'll also see if you have tasks to complete for your shift. Click into it to check your task list and check them off as they're completed. You can also see your upcoming shifts for the week, any shifts up for grabs in the shift pool, and you can bid on shifts in the pool, which we'll send to your manager for approval. At the bottom, you can also see your estimated earnings based on the hours that you've worked. This is just an estimation of your earnings for the week. If your employer give you access to your timesheets, you'll be able to see them there as well. In this calendar icon at the bottom, you can check your schedule. Check upcoming shifts for the week and swipe right at the top to access following weeks. If your manager makes it available, you can also see the schedule of other people in other departments. If you click into a specific shift, you can find information about that shift, like the weather, any specific shift notes, events, and who you might be working with. If you need to find coverage for a shift, you can also click find cover and either offer up the shift for grabs in the shift pool, which means anyone with your specific role can take it, or you can request to trade shifts with a specific person. Either one you choose will be sent to your manager for approval. The messaging tab is where the chat icon is at the bottom, and here's where you can check recent messages and announcements from your employer. Announcements are one-way blasts from your manager or employer. Think of it like a bulletin board or a memo. At the pencil icon in the top right, you can start a new message with either a specific person, multiple people, or a group based on the schedule. Under the more tab on the bottom, you can submit your availability to let your manager know what shifts you're able to work. You can add a recurring availability, which repeats week to week, or temporary availability if your schedule changes for a specific week. This will submit to your manager for approval. Under the More tab, you can also submit time off requests. Under your time off requests, you'll be able to see which of your requests have been approved and submit more for approval. The bell icon in the top right is where you can find all of your notifications, like if your requests have been approved, if any shifts are up for grabs, and when a schedule is updated. You can change your notification settings either at the gear icon in the top right or at the more tab in the bottom right. Choose whether to receive email or mobile notifications. Any icon in orange means that that notification is turned on and anything that's grayed out means that it's turned off. And this is what a mobile notification looks like. Under the more tab, you can also find another way to access the shift pool, task management, and your timesheets. The calendar sync option lets you sync your schedule with an external calendar like iCal or GCal. If you work at more than one restaurant that uses seven shifts, you can switch between multiple restaurants as long as you use the same email and password for all accounts. In the More tab, click on the name of the restaurant and you can switch to a different employer. So these are the basics of the employee mobile app. If you have any more questions, check out our knowledge base. And thanks for watching.